Within the typical body cell of an organism is a set of chromosomes, and in humans there are 46 chromosomes. We get 23 from the mother and 23 from the father. Now what this means is that for every single one chromosome from the mother's side, it matches with one chromosome from the father's side. This gives you 23 homologous pairs of chromosomes. As for the chromosomes themselves, the chromosomes are just highly organized structures and in these organized structures are tight coils of DNA and that's because DNA is a really large molecule. As for the DNA itself, you can see that it has the shape of a double helix. A double helix is like a ladder that's been twisted and the rungs of those ladders are made of something called base pairs. As for the bases themselves, we get four types of bases. You've got A for adenine, T for thymine, G for guanine and C for cytosine. Notice that um, in the structure of DNA, A only ever goes with T and G only goes with C. Now as for how genes fit into all this, genes are actually just specific lengths of DNA that code for characteristics such as eye colour. So this length of DNA here could represent the eye colour for something for say blue eyes. And over on the other homologous chromosome, on the other matching chromosome, that same section, that same gene could be something for say brown eyes. Now here's the catch, for this to represent blue eyes and the other one to represent say brown eyes, this means you have different forms of a gene and different forms of that same gene are called alleles. So this could be the allele for blue eyes and this would be the allele for brown eyes. Now the only differences between the two are that for the most part the order of the bases are actually the same but there's only a slight difference in the order of those bases.